Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the holy name of the Lord Jesus. I bless you, my Father. I bless you, my Lord Jesus. You are worthy, you are worthy. You are holy. You are worthy. You are holy. I glorify your name. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you. I bless your name. You are worthy to be praised. You are holy. There is none like you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for the blood of Jesus. I thank you for the Lord Jesus. Oh, my dear, he is worthy, he is holy, he is holy, he is holy. He is holy. Lift up the name of Jesus. I worship you, Messiah. I worship you, my Father. I worship you. I go for your name. Every knee shall bow the name of Jesus, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. May your name be glorified, Lord the nation, Lord my Father. May your name be glorified, Lord the nation. I thank you for the grace you've given to bring us to your Lord Jesus. I thank you for the beauty given to make us your own. Oh, I thank you for the precious blood of Jesus. I thank you, my Lord. You are worthy. There's no one like you. There is no one like you. There's no one like you, Lord Jesus. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You loved us and you died on the cross. When the enemy is planning for us to go to hell, Lord, you are planning for us to go to heaven. Oh, Marie, I thank you for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Talk to us today. Change us, O oh Lord. Change our hearts, O oh my Father. You send your word and heal us and deliver us. Lord, as you were sending your word, let this heal us, change us, and deliver us. And deliver us, O oh my Father. In the name of Jesus, deliver us, change us, in the name of Jesus. You are loving God, you are mighty Father, you are loving Father, our Father Maker. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nishi, Roman de Rekimoshitak, Roman de Rekimonomak, Roman de Rekimonomak. Yes, your name be glorified. Make your name be glorified. I thank you, Lord, because today you are going to deliver us from the spirit of envy. You are delivering us from envy, oh my God. Yeah, Mama Moshe and Derek. Yeah, Mama Moshe and Derek. Yeah, Mama Derek and Derek. Yeah, Mama. 
I welcome the warring angels. I welcome Lord. The host of heaven, Lord. Yere Bobo Kuma Diridik. I welcome you, Holy Spirit. Father. Let the one end bind the spirit of misinterpretation in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of understanding be released. The spirit of wisdom and knowledge, discernment of my Lord Jesus Christ. The spirit of truth. I release it, Lord. I dedicate everyone who is joining this. Broadcast, oh my father, everybody will hear and listen to this. Oh my father, I hand them into you, I put them in your hands, oh Lord Jesus Christ. I put them in the spirit of the Lord. Holy Spirit, take control of my mouth, my heart. Use me, oh Lord Jesus Christ, and we are all to my father. Yes. We are Mandere, you giving us hearts, new hearts, oh my Father, new hearts, oh Lord Jesus Christ. Yere de 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 Praying for new hearts. Fill us with new hearts, O Lord Jesus. Fill us with new hearts, O Lord Jesus. Wash us with the water. So cleanse thee with the water and give you a new heart. Thank you for the water that came from the roots of Jesus Christ. He's cleansing our hearts. Lord, you're putting a new spirit in our hearts. Mari Bush and the other Roman did it a cabush. Old Carabuco did it a bush. Roman did it a cumma. Carabon did it a cum. Yet did it cumushi, the Rubucum. Ribucuma did it a cum. His all is worthy. We worship you, glorify your name. We lift up your name, Lord Jesus. You are holy, you are worthy. You are the only God, you are the beginning and the end. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are my God. Kumandere <laughs> Ribuko derideke terebuko. Maribuko busi terek. Yeah,
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome everybody. I welcome you as on the podcast. I welcome the Holy Spirit. We worship you, are holy, you are worthy. I just love to be in your presence, oh my Father. I can't wait to see the day alone as I pray that I will not miss heaven in the name of Jesus. I pray that everyone who is watching this and all those people out there who believe in Jesus Christ, those who are ministering the word of God, whoever believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that you open our eyes, that we may reach, we may go to enter and enter into the door gate of heaven, O Lord Jesus Christ. That we may not be stopped at the gate of heaven, but we enter into the gate of heaven. That we make heaven, Holy Spirit, be with us. Be with us, Lord Jesus Christ, because you're coming for a church that is a bride that is righteous, a church that is holy and righteous. I thank you, Lord, because you're giving us the grace for your masses in me every day. In the name of Jesus. Oh, today we are going to learn about endings. No, I, I'll try to check. I was trying to check the meaning of endings. The definition of end is a, it is a feeling of resentment. This con, a feeling of resentful discontent. Begrudging admir, admiration. You're admiring something, but you're grudging. Conventiousness with, with regard to another's advantage possession or attainment, desire for something possessed by another one. It's an object of the envious jealous, envious feeling. She was the envy of all the classmates. You know, and then I read envy is pain ill. There is an ill, a, a pain, an ill will. It is a jealousy at the good fortune or blessings of another's. They regard this degrading and this disgraceful passions. Pining away in, there is a pain that you feel like you're even pining away in pain, that you feel the malignant consumed at the sight of others' blessings. Let me say, if somebody Maybe you're with some stated, oh, sister, sister so-and-so is getting married. Instead of being happy, you are like, oh, she starts crying. I used to hear Pastor, Pastor Chris saying like that. <laughs> I'll give an example of Pastor Chris's example. So they cry, sister, she starts crying. Sister, what is it they tell her? Yeah, sister so and so is getting married. Well, what is it? And then say, now go do God. I've been interceding, I've been in like this. And now look, you're not giving me even, even a small a small thing and you're giving sister so and so marriage. You know? Instead of being happy for a sister, the blessing of another, she's just envy. She's just she feels so envy, she feels some pain. Why is it so and so has it? Why is it so and so has it? This wisdom is not from above. This is wisdom from underground. And you know, through envy, when somebody is envying someone because he has something, this is the force which will push you to do something bad to somebody who has it. Say, at least maybe I'll just kill that person to get Maybe I'll kill her that I can get her husband. Maybe I'll kill her. I'll kill her children. Maybe 
you are married in a call where you have a, a man has two men, two women, especially in the polygamous family. This is a source of envy, the spirit of envy. The people, the way the wives will be so envious, they call out the step moms, and they will do certain things to step kids. So many of us have suffering because of step moms and step dads. Step dad, he gets they gets a wife and his daughter, or maybe they do. He tells them, "Man, I love you with your child in the stomach." And he will pretend that he's loving the kill, but he's loving the child because he's dedicating the child to her spirits, to get, he dedicated the child to evil spirit to get money. It's all envy. Then they see the child, maybe the, the child, the strange child, the child who came with the daughter, is, the, the wife is, is more brighter than his children. He try to see that this child's future is blocked through witchcraft, or even the words you say. It's all envy. Born again Christians, we are not supposed to be with envy because the Bible says this, this is the works of the flesh. We are not supposed to be envious of anyone or anybody. I used to be envious if somebody has something which I don't have. I would be like, oh, I feel like inside me. Why is she the one having it? Why not me? You don't want anybody to surpass you. I used to be one, always number one, number one in class. But when I was number two or number three, I could get out of class and start crying. Why was I number two? Why was that one ahead of me? That was envy. I could be envious of that is a bad heart. It was a bad heart. And I really cry. Nobody has to be above me because I was supposed to be number one. And on top of that, even my parents could beat me if I was number two or below number, if I was not number one. She could, my mom could beat me. My dad could say strange like obviously it could not beat me but my dad would say bad words to me but my mom used to beat me seriously because she knew i was supposed to be number one he said i was praying so i could cry but that is not good we have to appreciate everything we get whether it's bad or good and we have to appreciate our friends our people people friends in the church you see a child you see somebody getting, maybe driving a, a, a good car. And she said, hmm, how can she drive a good car? Look at the way she is. She's not, she's not in, she's, she doesn't fit in the car. Why should you say she doesn't fit in the car? That is because of envy. She doesn't fit in the car. Look at her, the way. Somebody dressing well. So look at the way she dresses. They don't even fit her. She doesn't look beautiful in the dress. Somebody singing so well. And you start, you are maybe you, you are also a singer. You have to appreciate that she's better than me. She has a good high voice, and me, I don't have the high voice. I have a low voice. My my voice is bit that's the way God made me. I have to appreciate her or him. But instead of appreciating him or her, you try to destroy the gift in that person. If you are the leader of the choir, or you are the leader of the if you're the leader of the choir or you're the leader of the of the singing group, you make sure when they do audition. Even if she's the best, you will not choose her because of envy. You're just jealous. You're just envious of this person. That's no good. We Christians, envy will stop us from going to heaven. Let us read First Peter 2, chapter 2, verse 1. Wherefore, lay aside all mouths and all 
God and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speaking. This is Peter was saying to the children of, of the church. He was talking to the church. Peter was a, a disciple of, of Jesus, one of the disciples. And he is the one whom Jesus said that upon Peter, I put the rock, I build the church upon this rock, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You know, when we, we have envy, envy is a door for the enemy to, to influence us with, to manipulate our blessings. When we pray, when Christians pray, and God sends a blessing, when the angel is coming with the blessing, the angel from God, when he's coming with the blessing, there is a second heaven where there are angels, angels of the demons, spirits, the demons. They counteract that angel and say, why are you taking this blessing? I will say, I'm taking it to Mikisa. Oh, I'm taking it to Victoria. Say, no, look, victory is envious. Does God give people who are envied blessings? No, I have to take it from you. Because the angel is working on the rules of God. He cannot go where there is envy. Who just the angel of God who just leave the this one to take it from the angel of Satan to take it from the angel of God. And they will take it in their warehouses. That's why those people who are worshiping the devil, they will get quickly their things. So when this person who is worshiping the devil will ask the devil for the thing. The devil will quickly give him because he, he is there is no the devil will give blessing with no with no that there are no the only the only thing you have to do to receive blessing from the devil is to worship the devil do as you want you don't have to follow the blessing the the, the rules of god no but god is holy who must come to a place which is not holy and envy 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 is not holy this is the work of the of of, of the devil is unrighteousness and it's it's in it's always in the hearts you know some people they can always smile they are so laughing they love so much especially in the church oh sister 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 sons but inside, when they don't want, when they really want, they are not laughing at you. When you ask the Lord this to open your eyes, sometimes sometimes people have such a gift. Even if they don't ask the Lord to open, they are there. They have the gift of seeing in there somebody's eye, somebody's heart. Somebody will be coming, sister, 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 I love you, sister. But then the Lord will show that sister that this person is not happy with you in their heart. And if I, I beg, if the Lord shows you that this sister is not happy with you and tells you that don't do, don't get another step near her. Just do what the Lord is telling you because God knows, measures the ways of the heart. And God knows, the Holy Spirit knows, He will always tell us the truth. Because I used to ignore such, such, I used to ignore such, such, I used to ignore such things when the Holy Spirit would show me somebody's heart, somebody smiling on the heart, on this face, and then inside is like, I, I really am angry at you. I don't like why you received it. And I'm like, oh, because I'm Christian, she's sistering me, sister, sister, I hug you. But the end result was not good because I have that experience. The end result was not good. We shouldn't rely on the Holy Spirit when it opens up things to us. Job 5 2 says, For wrath kills the foolish man, and envy slays the silly one. Envy will slay a silly person. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 
if you are not silly, if you don't want to be silly, don't be envy on anybody or anyone. Because this is really, you see now what is, is, how can you be, when, you know the devil just makes us looking for Somebody was born like that. Somebody was born with big hip. You are born with a flat hip. But you start envying somebody because of the big hips. When you always, when you get, when you envy somebody, will your hips grow big? No, they will not. So you, every time you, you, you are just, you become like silly. The, the Bible says envy slays the silly one. Until you, you grow thin, you, it will slay you. You start becoming heart attack. Every time you see that person, you don't want to go there. Every time she's there, you are uncomfortable. If you're pretending to laugh, laugh. All those fake smiles, all those fake laughs, it is useless in the kingdom of God. We are spirits and we, you know we are going to be accountable for everything we are doing on this earth, whether it will take us to heaven or to hell. If you know you have envy, you you there is a, a way when you see somebody getting something good, just pray, ask God, I repent, I have envy, help me, take it out to me. Take it out to me, oh Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord will take it out to me. Second Corinthians 12, chapter 12, verse 20. For I fear at least when I come, I shall not find you as I would, that I sh shall be found unto such as you would not. You do not. This there will be debates, endings, wrath, strikes, backbiting, whispering, swellings, and torment, torments. Debates, endings. Paul wanted was going there, but he said, "Least I find there is envy, because he knows when there is envy, there is not, nothing good. People they will talk out to envy, they will spoil people." They will go to the pastor because they see when they in the chat, they will go to the pastor and say, you know, so and so and so sister is doing like, but just because of envy, they will say it, but when it's not true, when it's not true, I believe that everybody was born beautiful. I believe that everybody was born handsome. I believe that everybody was born with something he can do or she can do. I believe that all the people around me, they can do, they, there is a reason why they come to me. I remember when I was, I was working somewhere. I was in a high office up, but, and the person I was working to was related to me, was my uncle. But the people in the high office, they would see these people who are carrying things and they would just ignore them like, they could when they find me talking to them, laughing to them like I'm like these people they're also something. And these are the same people when they see you maybe you're buying a car, they're like, Where did you get that the money? Who gave her the money? <laughs> Hallelujah. So worry there is envy. It's no good for Christians to walk in envy. Romans chapter 13, 13. Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in cham chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. We should not walk in strife and envy. First Corinthians 3, 3. For ye are not carnal. For whereas there is among you envy and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and work as men? We Christians, we are not supposed to walk in the carnal spirit. We are not supposed to walk in carnal, carnality. We are supposed to walk in the spirit of God, in the spirit, in the Holy Spirit. When you walk in carnality, that's when you feel envy. But when you're in the spirit of God and the spirit of envy comes in you, the Holy Spirit will, will return quickly. Will do like envy has entered, remove it, and like, God, help me take it away. Help me to be happy for my sister. 
Help me to be happy for my brother. Help me to be happy for those people who are who are doing what? Who are prospering. I will not be envy on, on them. And then fill me with the love. And then the the best solution to cover the spirit of envy, to bind it, to take care of the spirit of envy, you need to start to pray for that person's blessings. You need to start praying for the protection of whatever she has gotten. Even if you don't like it, the spirit of the Lord will make you like it. At first, it can be hard. But if you ask the spirit of the Holy Spirit to take out this envy and put you into loving and feeling love for others and helping those people to encouraging them to feel that happy for them, it can be hard, it is hard, but if you ask the Spirit of God, it will help you. Because we cannot do it by ourselves. But if we call in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, take it, take away the Spirit of envy from me. That's why we need to, speak, to walk in the Spirit. He will, really tell, he will really show us that He's the one to show us all the truth, he will guide us in all truth. And you rely on the Holy Spirit. By our energy, we cannot do it. But by the Spirit of God, by the Holy Spirit, we can do it. By the blood of Jesus, we can do it. So you call on the Holy Spirit. You call on the blood of Jesus to take, if it's, if you pray for the Spirit of, of God to take the end away and it has refused, then you ask the blood of Jesus Christ to wash away the envy from you. You call on the water of Jesus Christ that came out of the ribs of Jesus Christ to wash away the envy from you and put in a new spirit, the spirit of love, the spirit of joy, the spirit of being happy for somebody who has attained something. Galatians 5.21 Envies, murdering, drunkenness, reverings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, before as I have also told you in the past time, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You know, we, it's so sad. You are on the earth. You are not. You are walking a righteous, full life. You are walking holiness. You are not walking in fornication. You are not walking in adultery. You are doing all that God is telling you. You are preaching the gospel. But just because of envy, when you reach at the, the door that goes to heaven, and the door, and the angel will tell you, you are not going in because in heaven unrighteousness is not is not accepted in heaven. No unrighteousness can enter in heaven. And you know when you reach there, the it will be so open, there is nothing you can hate. The 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 screen will show and they will show that you see you see inside yourself that there is ending in you. You've been walking in the they have been preaching the gospel. But the people you pray for, they get miracles before you too. When they get miracles, instead of being happy, you pray for them and they got miracles. You just you just complain to God. Oh, why did she get the such a miracle? Why did she get a big miracle than me? If you're an interceder, you intercede for people, they get miracles. You pray for people, they get miracles. And you become envious of them. Instead of being happy for them, because you are still in the rented house, for them they are getting they are getting bangers. God has given them bangers. You are not yet married. For them they are getting married. They are 20, 30, they are getting married. You are 45, you are not yet married. You are praying for married, people's marriage and they are getting them. And you become envious of them. That can stop you from entering heaven. They shall not inherit the kingdom of God. This is not my word. This is the word of the Bible. This is the word of God. And all the word of God was written at the inspiration of God. We have to read the word of God carefully and think about it and meditate about it. Instead of meditating on the films we saw on the TV, on the on the women we saw in the door, in the in the in the in the streets, and you go back to the bed and meditate on how she's so beautiful, who is it? And you start drawing all the pictures and that man how you wish he was your husband. All that I've been through. We we should start stopping to meditate on that thing. And we start meditating on the word of God. Because this earth is going to pay away, to get away. And then only heaven and hell will stay. Where are you going? 
in heaven, the kingdom of God. Envies will not be there. Those who are having envies, they will not inherit the kingdom of God. This is not my word. This is the word of God. Galatians 5.26 Let us not be desirous of gain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. The reason why we are envying one another, because we are desiring vain glory, because we are desiring what is not ours. When, when something is not yours, why should you be envious of somebody? Somebody, and in most cases, people who are envious, they always have much, but they don't want another one. Like I told you, when I, I used to be number one, but when I was number two, I'm, 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 I, I'm, I cry, I used to cry. Why am I number two? Why was he better than me? Why did he, why did I lose? Maybe they, may, I could cry, I could cry, I could cry. Now, those people who are as envious, they always have something. But they don't want nobody to be more than them. That's the spirit from the grave. That is the spirit taking you to hell. It's the spirit which will take anybody to hell. Because the Bible says, they that do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And there are two kingdoms. There is the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. So, if you are doing envy, you, are in, you won't inherit the kingdom of God. You will inherit the kingdom of Satan. So you say once once saved, saved forever. Okay, but this is also the Bible that is saying those that do that things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. James 3 14. But if ye have bitter ending, stripes in your heart, glory not and die not against the truth. The truth says you should not envy each other. But if you have endings in your heart, glory not. In your heart. You know, some people, they can have envy in their heart. And even they glory about it. They glory about it. They say, me, if you say, me, nobody can pass me. Nobody can go beyond me. I'm always the, the satchel. I'm always the lord. I'm always the boss. I'm always the queen. I'm always the miss. The miss Japan. I'm always the miss Uganda. I'm always the miss Tokyo. I'm always the miss. I'm always the miss Uganda. I'm always the miss Africa. You know, nobody can bypass me. Who, you know, in my lang in my language, they have this this language. Is this uh, can I say? Uh, it's I don't know. They use language. There are words they use. I'm always so nobody can bypass me. I'm the best. You should not glory. Even Christian, I'm always the one who. If I'm not singing, nobody will sing. So what? If I'm not, if I don't take. If I don't take the power of it, if I don't take the, 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 the microphone, nobody has to sing. I, I have to be there. Maybe you come, they've already assigned the, the, the song to another person. No, I have to do it because I'm here. Nobody has to be there. And you go about it. You know, it's envy. You don't want anybody doing it. You don't want anybody to be better than you. This is bitter envy. She better envy somebody. Hallelujah. Why Christian? We should not do like that. And you know, this is something that brings bring people to do each other bad. You do each other bad. You know, Satan was envious of God. You know what he was envious of God? Because everybody was bowing at God. Everybody was giving glory to God. But God is the one who created everything. How could you envy God? That's what Satan did. And said, okay, I will also lift up, I will also exalt myself, God, and be above the most holy God. And then the people, they will, they will bow to me. That's not right. That is wisdom from hell. And if, you know, the thing is, somebody was born a singer. That's her voice. She cannot change to your voice. He cannot change to your voice. That is his voice. He has a lovely bass. He has a tremble. And you are like, oh, why? He will never change unless it will just slay you. Because every time you see him, you will like, you want to die. Until one time you'll be knocked out, you'll never come back from the death from the depression 
and you look somebody is so stressed when you ask him what are you you know I, I don't understand people i don't understand people when you ask the problem what's the problem you know they said they gave this song this guy they gave this song. i look at him the guy is singing well the girl is singing well They're in the choir, the, in the, in the, the especially intercessors, not to intercede in the church. The interceding, the interceding. Somebody just comes in the church two, three days, one month, one before one year elapses, she's getting married. Another girl, she's getting married. And these are two marriages from God. I don't I don't understand God. How can God give? Such a person, who even doesn't come for intercessions, who doesn't, doesn't come for, for fire press, who doesn't do anything in the church. All she does, she does come for only morning glory. After morning glory, she's away. She's going for her job. She, you don't know the relationship between her and God. Because this salvation is the relationship, the way you talk, just like the way I talk to my husband, or the way you talk to your, to your wife, the way you talk to your husband, that's the way it is. And when you look at people who are jealous of, of their husband, the way they talk to their husband, the relationship between, that's the thing, the relationship. You cannot be jealous because somebody has got it. You don't know which God even has given her the marriage, first and foremost. Could be a marriage that Satan had learned to stop this person's future. Could be a marriage from God, it's the right marriage. But she, that does not give you the, that does not give you the, the, the what? Does not give you the 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 what the the for you to be angry for you to be envious on him. It does not give you the purpose to be envious on him on that person. No, you just say, oh, thank God. We thank God. If it's you, just thank God and praise God. God, if it's from you for for your glory, let it be. Let your glory be. You let your name be glorified. If it is. It is for the devil. God help us remove the devil's plan from that marriage. And let it let them go and produce Jesus. Because Jesus wants us to. Whatever he's giving you a marriage, he wants you to produce Jesus. He doesn't want you to go and produce children who, who are for the devil. He wants you to go and produce Jesus. And you just pray for them. Thank you for them. Oh Father, when actually if you if you're genuine, you can even if you feel like you want. You say, when you get the sister, congratulates her. Say, oh, sister, can you also give us that anointing of, of, uh, of marriage that we, uh, we, we were single? Can you, can we all us who are single come and you pray, for, you pray for over us for the anointing of marriage? Because the anointing can be passed over. If somebody is married, is getting married, she can pass the anointing. And she in a happy way, in a, in, a, in a loving way. But not just being like, oh, why does she get married? I've been here interceding for years and I'm not married yet. Yes. I also used to feel like that before. But I thank God for the grace of God. He has helped me to overcome that. It has helped, he has helped me to overcome that. I pray and say, God, take away the, this, this envy. Take away this envy. Even if, even if it's out, even if it's out, it's even if whatever whatever judgment I put, I'm not supposed to judge. Even if the Lord shows me how it was not, it was there was problem. It was God's. Now I just say, God forgive us, help me take away this envy, this bitterness in my heart, this bitter envy, bitterness. It's so bitter, like you know, like some people they can vomit. When it is so and so is getting more sentence. <laughs> oh, you know some people they can just burst into crying. For where there is envy, James chapter three verse sixteen. For where there is, for where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. And every evil work. Where well, there is envy and strife, there is confusion and every evil work. There is confusion. No why there is confusion. I remember I was working one time with a certain girl. 
I, I remember I was working in a certain with a certain girl. It's okay. With a certain girl, a certain girl in in the job. She 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 she, she used to say, sister, she loves me, she loves me, sister, sister, sister. But I didn't know she she, she had envy in me. Though the Lord showed me, but me, I I don't know. I I'm like I don't want to think somebody. I was like maybe it is my thought, maybe it's. But then when the Lord was showing me, this girl is is envy about you. As you, one time you go to the to the job and then you find everybody's talking this. This one are fighting each other. This one are fighting each other. This one is talking this. This one say you did this. This one say you did this. There is all sort of conflict and every work. This one is saying this. This one is saying this. This one is saying this. this, one, saying this. this one, I'm like, what is going on? And one time I remember one sister, one friend told me, "Are you sure she's your sister?" I said, "She's my sister. I love her." Yeah, I was talking. I'm talking. I said, are you sure she's your sister? I said, yeah, she's my sister. He just kept quiet because he knew that if he would tell me what she's talking about me, maybe I would faint, maybe I, she she would. And the way I was treating her, I would stop treating her or something like that. So, when there is any, this and strength, there is always a confusion and every evil work. Every evil work, even to the extent of going to witches to destroy people's destiny. People use witchcraft. To destroy people's destiny. Hallelujah. Even the church, certain sin. You know, you know, recently, some years back, maybe like one hundred years back or something, the the enemy, the devil, just introduced something in the church. People are no longer because the devil knows he has a short time. They no longer go to the witch doctor. They no longer do make witch witchcraft in the witch doctor. They are making the witchcraft in the churches. They, those are the churches they are making. They call them churches, but they are shrines with the devil. Churches where those actual that is where the devil will take all the blessing which he held from the Christians. If you're a Christian, you're walking in it, the devil will take all your blessing. You're right, you, you're walking right, and even that envy, if you don't work on it, it can stop you from going to heaven. This is what the Bible says. It's not me. It's not my word. It's the Bible says. You, you believe the Bible. If you don't believe the Bible, it's up to you. But I believe the Bible is right. So, those churches which, which are not right for God, there are so many miracles going on. Because the God there is not the God of the... The, the God... So I'm not saying all... The God over there is not the God of, of the the what the true God, the Holy God. The God who is giving miracles to people who are going naked in the church. He can do it when you are you 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 are it is you are just the first time you're you you are just a baby. You, because miracles are for attraction. But you've been coming you've been coming to the church for years. And you're still coming when your 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 thighs are out, your breasts are out, and the pastor is like, oh, blessing, and you are getting the blessing, blessing already, miracles and miracles. What kind of God is that? Who doesn't mind about the child, how he's dressing? For years, you're in church, you're in the way you dress. You want the purpose, and then you say, we call, the pastor even doesn't care about it. Think, think twice. Is that the real true spirit of God working in that past? Oh, is the past this certain because Satan, that is the way, because he knew that people want God. He knew that people, all the people want to go to God because he's our creator. That is our deep recreation. That is, that is our original. That's where we originated. We all want God. So the only way he could take them to him, now they are not going to which, which doctors. He said, we let's make a church. Let's make a church. Let's make a church. <laughs> I don't know which heart is this. Let's make a church. And we put in uh, we put in what? Satanic satanic pastors who will not mind about holiness. Hallelujah. Exodus that four fourteen. For thou shalt wash no other go for the Lord who is his name is Jairus, he's a Jairus God. God is a Jairus God. Proverbs 3, 31. Aim thou not the operator and choose none of his ways. Proverbs 14, 30. 
The sound heart is life of the flesh, but envy is the rottenness of bone of the bones. Sure, envy is the rottenness of bones. You know, envy can eat you. You can so you can feel so eaten up. It just takes you your peace, no peace. You just feel like <sighs> that's it. That so it is envy is the rottenness of, of the bones. The bones are rotten. Let not thine heart envy sinners. Psalms twenty three seven. Proverbs 23.17 Proverbs 10 30. Its own heart is the life of the fresh. But the but envy the rottenness of the bonds. Proverbs 23.17 Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. If you are in the fear of the Lord, do not envy anybody. Because if you look at somebody, you see like you are seeing the picture of God. Proverbs 27. 274. Wrath is cruel, anger is outrageous. But who is able to stand before envy? <laughs> he says, he say, Wrath is cruel, anger is outrageous. But who is able to stand before envy? Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes 9 6. And they are also their love and their hatred, and their envy is no purse. Neither have they any more portion forever in anything that is done under the earth. So, those who are envious, they will never have any portion under the earth. The envy, Isaiah 11, 33, the envy of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. Hallelujah. That's what the Lord wants us. God can give us a heart when we shall not envy our enemies. When you cannot envy anybody, it's only God who can do it in our in our hearts. Isaiah twenty six chapter eleven, chapter twenty six verse eleven. Lord, when thy hands is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see, and be ashamed for their envy are the people. Hallelujah. Yeah, the fire. The fire of thine enemy shall devour them. The fire shall devour those who. Are envious of others. Hallelujah. You're welcome, but you're welcome. <laughs> Hallelujah. Welcome back. Ezekiel 35 11. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy which thou hast. Use out of thy hatred against them, and I make thyself known among them when I have charged you. Hallelujah. When we envy, the Lord will come against us. So we don't need the Lord to come against us. Let's go before the Lord and ask the Lord to help us to take away envy. You know, because of envy, those children, those people who delivered, who delivered Jesus to be hanged. They did it out of envy. Matthew 27, 18 says, For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. This Plato, he knew that for envy they had delivered them. Mark 15, 10, he said, For he knew that the chief priests had delivered him for envy. Acts 7, 9 said, And the patriots moved with envy and sold Joseph into Egypt, but God was with, was with him. And when God is with you and people are jealous, they are envious of you. No, God, you cannot envy any person who is blessed by God and 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 and, uh, and manage. Because God is, because a person who is blessed, you envy him because he has gotten one car. And you envy him, the next morning you see, you do something, you envy him, you, you see him with another car. You envy him, you see him with an airplane. You envy him, you see him with the, now the president of America. You envy The only thing you do, you just die. There's, if you don't ask God to take out the envy from you, you just die. You have to know your, you know, it's only the enemy that disguises, that 
took us to our different destinations. You say the the Lord when the Lord plans to bring it somebody on the earth, He planned that this person will be born in this country through this woman and this man in this country. This person. So when the enemy goes and checks your book of life, you 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 the God's destiny for you and what you God knows what, exactly what you are going to do on this earth. And it's written in your book. So you have to ask God for your divine destiny. To show you the Holy Spirit to reach you the divine destiny. Because so the end, what the end will do, will dislocate you. You're supposed to be born in Japan and it will dislocate you to Africa. And you're born in Africa. And maybe when your parents be, bar be born and then they will take you to Africa. And then they take you, I'll grow up in Africa. But you are supposed, where, where the, Lord sends you to be where the Lord has planned for you. He'll take you, put all the provision for you. Even the, your angels will be. We're supposed to. They will be there. Everybody will be waiting. All the divine assistants will be in that place where you're supposed to be born. But you are in a different area, and your divine assistant in the, in a different area. That's where you find that you cannot fit there, and you see that inside you are supposed to be another person. So instead of be, and you see some people are being what you want to be because that is the desire God put in. That is the or divine original of you. Instead of of you asking God, help me reach my divine, reach my divine, my divine destiny. Help me go to my divine road because the enemy has done a lot to, the, to divert us from our divine destiny. You just start envying other people. And those people, maybe they have prayed to God to put them to their divine destiny. So, you envy them, just like Joseph. They envied him. They took him to Egypt. They took him. But the next time you know, they are kneeling before him. They are kneeling before him. So, it's useless to envy somebody who is blessed. Because even if you envy them, even if you, even if you bewitch them, they will never be with they will, they will never they will never do anything to you if you are blessed from God. All their witchcraft will pass so 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 why if you are blessed by God the blessing of the Lord he adds no soul so instead of envying people just ask God to take out the envy and take God take it to the divine destiny. Matthew 27. But no, Acts 13, chapter 13, verse 14. But when Jesus saw the mountains, they are filled with envy and spoke again those things which were spoken by Paul contradicting and blaspheming. Hallelujah. These were the Jews. That's why they, they they could not believe the gospel because of envy. They are moved with envy because of what, what Paul was doing. He was casting out devils, healing the sick, and they could not do it. Instead of asking God, help us, because the Spirit of God is for everyone. Give me the Spirit that I may do something by the Spirit of God. Something not natural, supernatural. With the spirit of God, everything is natural. Hallelujah. They just were moved by envy, envy, envy. So we should not be like that. If you want to make a good church, if you want to make heaven. Acts 17, 5. But the Jews, which believed not, moved with envy and took unto them certain lewd fellows of the better sort, and gathered a company, and set all the city on an apple, and assaulted the house of Joseph, and so to bring them out, bring them out to the people, out to the people they wanted to kill them. Romans chapter 1 verse 29, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, Wickedness, covetousness, malice, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignant, whisperers. This is all unrighteousness. God does not like it. 
Welcome. Cold all over. First Timothy. Six, four. He is proud, knowing nothing but doting about occasions and stripes of words. Wherefore comes in this strife, railings, and evil murmurings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dotting of words, questioning, stripes of words, dotting about questions. All this brings up envy. For we, Titus 1, Titus 3, 3, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving neighbors, lust, pleasures, living in mouth, envy, hateful, and hating one another. No hate, no envious person will hate any, will love anybody. They always hate each other. You hate because you don't have what somebody has attained. Instead of being happy for that person, that's not true. If you're born again, Christian, you should not boss yourself and should not cover it up because the Spirit of the Lord will be with you, people. Hallelujah. And even if the Spirit of the Lord does not reveal to us, when we are die, there is when we go to heaven, when we leave this world, we shall be accountable to it. But if you have bitter envy and strife in your heart, glory not and lie not against the truth. So if if we have bitter envy, we have to ask God to take away the bitter envy. To ask God to Take away envy each other. This is not from God. This is from the enemy. This is wisdom from below, beneath. I welcome you, everybody. This is wisdom from the underground. And we are from above. We are going to pray and ask the living God to fill us with the spirit of love, joy, and happy. When others get blessed, not being envious, not being, not being envious of anybody. Hallelujah. Because if we are envious of anybody, we are opening the door for the enemy to take away our blessings. And we are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are out there and you don't believe the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that's the only way you can fight the spirit of envy. Just ask, repeat this prayer after me. Put your heart here, your hands here, and just like this. I just do it just to sign of surrender. You can do like this. You can do like this. I ask people to do like this. Say, repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I give my heart to you. I believe you died on the cross. On the third day, you rose for my sins. Take away my sins. Wash me with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I become the child of God. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. I'm yours forever. In Christ Jesus' name. I've prayed and believed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If you pray this prayer, the heavens, you are now a child of God. You are now born again in the Spirit. And I'm going to pray for you. I pray that you get the right chat. You read the Bible every day and you talk to your Father in heaven. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you in everything you do and make sure to do what the Bible says. We cannot do it by ourselves, but if we ask the Spirit of God to guide us, to help us, He's always there. He's the comforter that Jesus left for us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I pray for this person and who has accepted you as his Savior, Lord and Savior. Lord, I pray for them. Bless them, the Lord Jesus Christ. 
nobody will take them out of your heart because they are yours forever. Father, I pray the blood of Jesus over their families, over their lives. I protect them in the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, show them what to do. Guide them, lead them. Let them read the Bible. Give them the spirit of discernment, O Lord Jesus Christ. I come against them in the spirit of the devil that wants to stop them to, from following in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy any sickness in their life. I destroy any lack in poverty in their life. I destroy the spirit of, of dressing bad in their life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let them be dressed by the spirit of how the, the spirit of God, oh my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father. Guide them, teach them, protect them, their families, their loved ones. Let them all be changed through them. If they are married, let their spouses be changed by the way they are changed by your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Now we are going to pray for the um, for the spirit of envy to leave us. We first glorify the name of Jesus Christ. We lift up the name of Jesus Christ because it's Him. Everything is here and in me. Nothing is impossible without Jesus. Nothing is impossible with Jesus. Nothing is impossible with Jesus. Everything is possible. We glorify your name. We bless you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just lift up the name of Jesus Christ. We lift up you, Lord Jesus. We lift up your holy name. You are worthy. You are holy. You are worthy to bless, to be blessed, oh Father. Thank you for dying for us in the cross, you Lord Jesus. We bless you for your name. We bless your name. We magnify your name, Lord Jesus Christ. We lift you up because you are blessing us with a new heart, oh my Father. Yandere Baba, we repent and we attend it. Come before Him. We say, we say, so we have no sin. We are, you are not right, and we make Him a liar. The truth is not, is not in us. But if we confess our sins, we are just and faithful to forgive our sins. Even if our sins are red like crimson, we will make them white as snow. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. We ask for, we repent on behalf of our family, ourselves, Lord Jesus. We have been working in this, oh Lord Jesus Christ, because this is not your fruit. This is the fruit of, of the body, Lord. This is canarity, Lord. We repent on the spirit for the spirit of envy, Father. Forgive us, Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive us, Lord Jesus Christ. Wash us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, take out the spirit of envy from our heart. Uproot it from our heart, Lord Jesus. Uproot it from wherever it is, oh my Father. Father, uproot the spirit of envy in us. Blood of Jesus Christ, we cannot do it for all to repent. Wherever we've, we've, we've done, we will come at all. Lord, my seed, Taraba, where we are the common as we did, we've done with the spirit of envy, envy our brothers, envy our sisters, envy those who have got good cars, envy those who have got good shoes, envy those who have got good, good houses, good wives, good parts of who are beautiful. We think they are beautiful more than us. We think they are pretty more than us. We are all pretty. Lord Jesus Christ, we bless your holy name. Bless us, Lord Jesus. We repent of envy. Cleanse us with the precious blood of Jesus. We call the precious blood of Jesus to cleanse the envy. Take away the spirit of envy from us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we destroy that spirit of envy. We break it, uproot it. Lord Jesus, wash us with the blood of Jesus. Wash us with the water. Lord Jesus says, we say you wash us with the water in the, that come from the, the ribs of Jesus. You are washing us with the spirit of envy, anger, envy. Lord Jesus, wash it out of our heart. Wash it, it uproot it, it with the, all its roots, with all its branches, with all its branches, its stems. Let it be a Rooted. The foundation of and be destroyed, whether it's coming from our sisters, all of them let be destroyed, whether it's a habit from our sisters, we destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. We lose the blood of Jesus, we destroy the spirit of envy, 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 mukama. we destroy it, let it be uprooted. In Jesus Christ, we own the Holy Spirit, Lord, the angels, the angels of war, to uproot the spirit of envy wherever it is in everybody's heart, Lord, I release it in the name of Jesus, let it be destroyed, let it be destroyed, the spirit of envy from the church, from the pastors, from everyone, Lord Jesus Christ, that you might be in hand in harmony and in the love of God, in the peace of God, in the joy of God, let our and that it will fill us with a new spirit. He said, we take out the stony heart, take out the heart of envy, and put in the heart of joy, loving Father. Lord Jesus, fill us with the spirit of love, fill us with the spirit of hope, fill us with the spirit of joy, 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 
peace, peace, love, 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 loving others to be blessed, making sure you love, blessing others, Lord, the spirit of blessing, Lord, remind the remand, send the remand, because you are God, you are lovely, and that will give us a new heart. The heart of Jesus, fill us with the heart of Jesus, fill us with the spirit of Jesus. I pray for everyone, Lord Jesus Christ. Your love, Lord, in our hearts, let it be inside our hearts that there will never be any sign of envy from our hearts, Lord Jesus Christ, completely by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, we take the spirit of joy. We take the spirit of love. We take the spirit of patience. We take the spirit of holiness. Yes. The force of the spirit. Let them be manifested in our life. Let them be us in Jesus' name. The joy of the Lord is our strength, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. We walk in the joy of the Lord, in loving each other, praying for each other, Lord, lifting each other in hymns and praying hymns and psalms for each other. For the Spirit of the Lord, fellowshiping with each other in love, in joy, in peace. I thank you, Lord, and bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we've prayed and believed. We've prayed and believed, Lord Jesus Christ. Rama mama mama mandere de 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 ke moshan dara baba. Rama baba mandere de ke bo 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 shan dara. Eya mandere bo bo ko mama mandere de 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 de. Riba baba mandere de ke bo 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 ko zin de bo bo shan dara baba. I thank you, Lord. I bless you. We bless your holy name. We thank you for the spirit of joy, the spirit of love, for giving us a new heart, Lord Jesus Christ. And let it be forever and ever that you may enter your glory in the name of Jesus. God bless you, bless you in the name of 